Psalm 28. I can remember when I was a lad in grade school that every day the teacher would go up and down the aisles. She would make us put out our hands. First, palms up to make sure our hands were clean. Then palms down to make sure our fingernails were clean. And, of course, all of us uh, didn't like this because, well, little kids would much rather have dirty hands. Psalm 28 talks a great deal about hands. The psalmist lifts up his hands. The enemy is doing the work of their hands, but God has his hand at work as well. Psalm 28, verse 4, Give them according to their deeds. He's talking about his enemies. And according to the wickedness of their endeavors, give them after the work of their hands. There are wicked people in this world. There are dirty hands in this world. There's some people, everything they touch, they defile. And, of course, that hurts us, and, and we're grieved at this, especially when they want to touch our lives and defile us. So what does David do? He sees these evil hands, and he brings lifted hands, Psalm 28, verse 2. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands toward thy holy oracle. You see, when the Old Testament Jew prayed, he didn't fold his hands. He lifted up his hands to God in praise and in expectancy that God was going to do something. When you see the evil hands of Satan's crowd doing its defiling work, don't put your hands on their hands. You'll just get defiled. Lift up your holy hands to the Lord and trust God to work. That's what David says in verse 5 of Psalm 28. Because they, the enemy, regarded not the works of the Lord nor the operation of his hands, he shall destroy them and not build them up. God's hand is at work today, and the result of all of this is uh, praise. Verse 7, the Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Do you need that kind of help today? Lift up your hands to the Lord in supplication and in expectation, and soon you'll lift up your hands in jubilation and celebration.